This week we've lined up 15 videos showing how Tesla Autopilot reacts in crashes, near misses, fails, and saves. And showing how it sometimes doesn't react at all. Holy f Wham! Bam! Tesla Cam! I hope you're satisfied! Before we roll the clips, we want to be clear that we don't have any data from Tesla to confirm or deny that Autopilot was active in any of these situations. They're simply the stories Tesla owners chose to share with us, as are all the videos in this series. If we didn't believe the submitters, we wouldn't include their clips in this video. We've numbered the clips to make it easy to discuss them in the comments. This is part one of the Autopilot special, Autopilot Rollout. <laughs> Yvonne and his friend were on their way to the Peterson Automotive Museum in Los Angeles, California to check out the Tesla Roadster on display there. That's when a silver Lexus merged in front of them. Yvonne had autopilot set to 70 miles per hour. When the Lexus merged, the driver clearly accelerated at moving faster than the Tesla's constant speed. Traffic slowed down up ahead, but the Lexus didn't. It doesn't look like the driver even hit the brakes until just before he slammed into a black Kia. Autopilot didn't react or give any warnings, so Yvonne took over and applied the brakes. He doesn't think Autopilot had a chance to react, as the accident was too far in the distance. Everyone involved was shaken up, but miraculously, nobody was hurt. The freeway service patrol arrived minutes later. Yvonne and his friend believed that the Lexus driver was distracted, but he wouldn't admit to it. Instead, he kept repeating that he was using cruise control, which might be true, but he clearly didn't brake. Along with the clip, he sent us these epic pictures of the Tesla Roadster that was displayed at the museum. Thanks, Yvonne! Emiliano was driving his Model S with autopilot engaged in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. He admits that he took his eyes off the road for a second to look at the Tesla's screen. While doing so, he missed seeing this girl who was approaching the pedestrian crossing. Luckily, autopilot was paying attention and stopped the car just in time as the girl started to cross the road. Emiliano says the girl looked impressed and thanked him for stopping. Of course, maybe she was actually thanking Autopilot. Brian had just picked up his brother from UCLA in his Model 3 and was heading to lunch with family for his birthday. Some vehicles that were in front of them stopped abruptly, causing Brian and at least two other drivers behind him to also slam on their brakes. Brian says it was crazy that, when he went to smash the brake pedal, he discovered it was already down. Autopilot had engaged automatic emergency braking. All Brian had to do was make small steering adjustments to avoid hitting any vehicles. John was driving with Autopilot engaged and set to 70 miles per hour when a deer jumped out onto the interstate. Autopilot gave him no warning chimes and no automatic braking was applied. John took over for Autopilot as soon as he could react, but he was way past the deer by that point. Did Autopilot anticipate that the deer wasn't a threat and decide not to do anything? Or did it simply not notice the deer? Leave a comment with your opinion. The next video shows a severe traffic collision. Viewer discretion is advised. Here's another clip with a deer incident where Autopilot reacted differently. This video is from Bill who was driving north on I-43 in Belgium, Wisconsin when a deer decided to run across the highway. This time the accident wasn't avoided. When Autopilot detected the deer, it engaged the automatic emergency braking and tried to swerve to the right. Bill's grateful it did or the car would have hit the deer straight on. Due to Autopilot's evasive maneuvers, the deer was hit by the driver's side fender instead. Bill called 911 and a sheriff's deputy arrived. Bill was able to drive the Tesla home even with the damage. Once he got home, he contacted his insurance company. Bill is fully insured and the company is covering the cost of repairs, which is estimated to be about 12,500 US dollars. Maxim was driving his Model 3 in Waterford, Michigan when a yellow Jeep made a dangerous turn without checking for traffic. Maxim says Autopilot wasn't engaged, but his Tesla still sounded an emergency alarm before he noticed anything amiss, and he was able to take evasive action as a result. He knew he didn't have enough room or time to brake, so instead he had to swerve around the Jeep. He says that the low center of gravity, the warnings from Autopilot, and the sport steering mode saved his car, his friend, and himself. 
Chris was driving his Model 3 when he came across an out-of-order traffic light in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Most people were correctly treating it like a four-way stop. As you can see, Chris is using an aftermarket dash cam. He's been having issues with the built-in Tesla cam, so he keeps another camera running just in case. Luckily for us, it also records audio. When it was his turn to go, he started to proceed through the intersection when a car flew through at a full 40 miles per hour. The driver next to him saw them coming and reacted, but Chris had no idea what was happening. Holy f <laughs> Holy f Holy yeah. And this is why we have a dash cam. <laughs> the Tesla's automatic emergency braking, a standard safety feature, kicked in and saved him. He tells us he wasn't using autopilot and he was pressing on the accelerator pedal when the emergency braking engaged. Chris believes he was 100% saved by his Model 3. He's had it for over three years and has put over 80,000 miles on it. Well, we hope it lasts you another million miles, Chris. Just get that Tesla cam fixed. Brad was driving his Model Y with autopilot engaged on Washington State Route 16 in Tacoma, Washington. Just as he approached the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, a white truck pulling a trailer merged onto the highway. The truck merged a little too fast, lost control, and jackknifed across several lanes of traffic. Autopilot reacted and started braking as soon as the truck lost control. Luckily, no one was hit, but Brad says that the driver did look a little spooked. Christian was just starting through a green light when Autopilot engaged emergency braking to avoid another car running their red light. Christian also sent us this video, which happened a week after the last one. This time, an accident still occurred in spite of Autopilot's best efforts to avoid it. He was sitting in traffic in his Model 3 with Autopilot engaged when a truck rear-ended him. Autopilot immediately slammed hard on the brakes to keep him from rear-ending the Toyota in front of him. After pulling over to the side of the road, Christian checked on his five-month-old son in his car seat. He was crying, but perfectly safe. The cost estimate to repair the Tesla was about 8,000 US dollars, but the other driver's insurance company was dragging their feet, saying they couldn't reach the other driver to get their side of the story. Once Christian submitted the Tesla cam clip, the claim was resolved very quickly. He tells us he can't imagine trying to deal with insurance companies without accident footage. Thank goodness for Tesla cam. Isaiah was driving his Model 3 from Phoenix, Arizona to Newport Beach, California for an out-of-town weekend with his girlfriend. Autopilot was engaged as they headed into a construction zone where traffic suddenly slowed down. The driver of the Nissan behind them wasn't paying attention and rear-ended the Tesla. Fortunately, Autopilot kept the brakes engaged after they were hit and they didn't touch the vehicle in front of them. Isaiah's girlfriend went to a nearby emergency room and was confirmed to have whiplash. They contacted both driver's insurance companies and the driver at fault was underinsured. Isaiah just got his 2021 Model 3 at only 20 years old from working at his dream job. He previously worked for Tesla, but now he works at a financial technology company. This was his first collision ever, and he's extremely impressed with how Autopilot handled the situation. Gustavo was driving his Model 3 in Brazil when the automatic emergency braking kicked in and saved a cyclist. Mark was driving his Model Y home from work in Madera, California. Autopilot was engaged when he saw dirt getting kicked up into the air. The truck got big air before coming back onto the road, almost hitting multiple cars and the center divider. Autopilot safely engaged the automatic emergency braking while the truck roared away, leaving them all in the dust. After looking at the Tesla cam footage over and over again, it's hard to figure out where the truck even came from. At least he didn't hit the parked truck on the side of the road. 
This clip submitter was driving his Model 3 home, merging from California State Route 22 to California State Route 57 in Santa Ana, California. Autopilot was engaged and the Tesla was changing to the left lane. That's when a Honda Accord came from the far left lane at high speed, cut in front of him and almost sideswiped the left fender. The submitter was in shock because the Honda got way too close, but Autopilot still didn't respond at all. So much for that Honda avoidance code we've been asking for. The next video is from a Model 3 owner in Broomfield, Colorado, who goes by the nickname G. G was driving back home after dropping his kids off at school. Autopilot began to overtake a dark blue Toyota Corolla, which G had noticed was not maintaining a straight trajectory. He got ready to intervene just in case. Sure enough, the moment the Tesla started overtaking, the Corolla swerved left toward his car. Autopilot sounded an alarm and both G and Autopilot made an evasive maneuver, steering left into the shoulder and braking hard. G says it's hard to say who did what, but he could feel the car also reacting to the situation. After he regained control of the vehicle and himself, he got behind the Toyota and immediately called 911. 911, what's your emergency? He told them where he was, what had happened, and that he was following the vehicle that hit him. They asked him to stop following the vehicle, but he responded with, No madam, I will stop following it once one of your officers has intercepted it. The Toyota driver was headed to I-25 North, but they tried to lose G by exiting and entering various highways. G was on the phone with an officer the whole time, keeping her updated on exactly where they were. A few moments later, she told him she was in the area and asked him to turn on his hazard lights so she could spot him. Shortly after they passed the officer, she pulled the Toyota over. When the officer asked G for some details about what had happened, he showed her the Tesla cam footage. She asked for a copy of the footage and she told him that the Toyota driver was going to receive a citation. In next week's episode, we'll have another 15 even crazier autopilot videos. Hit that red subscribe button because you won't want to miss this one. See you all next Sunday.